What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about some of the top extensions for architectural modeling inside of SketchUp in 2022. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you want to download this entire list, you can get it by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. So that's going to give you access to my full list of my top extensions for architecture. Not only is that going to have download links for those, it's also going to have links to tutorial videos that I've done on some of these extensions. So if you are interested in getting started with any of them, um, that link is going to be in the notes down below. So number one on this list is Selection Toys. So Selection Toys is a free extension from TomTom Tom that allows you to basically customize your selections inside of SketchUp. What it does is it gives you the ability to select a bunch of things and then you can filter that geometry based on edges, faces, groups and components, and more. This is very helpful for selecting faces and also edges as well as things like borders of selections and other things like that. It makes your selections much faster in SketchUp. Selection Toys is available to download for free from Sketchication. All right, so next on our list is Sketch Plus. So this is a newer extension from the guys over at Mindsight Studios. And basically what they've done is they've added a number of different features that you see in a lot of 3D modeling programs directly inside of Sketch Plus. So what this one does is it adds 30 plus tools that you see in a lot of other 3D modeling applications. So you've got things like the Change Axes tool, which allows you to quickly set where your model axes are. You've got the Mirror tool that allows you to quickly mirror things. You've got the path array function, um, which allows you to create copies along paths. Just a lot of different tools in here um, that you might see in some other 3D modeling programs. So their tagline is add the missing tools to SketchUp Pro. But, but basically, this is 30 plus very useful tools for SketchUp. So Sketch Plus is available either for $25 a year or for a lifetime license of $89. All right, so next up, we have another free extension from TomTom, Tom, but basically Material Replacer is a tool that lets you replace all instances of a material um, with another material inside of SketchUp. So it's very simple to use. Basically what it does is it allows you to select a single material and then select another material and it'll swap those materials out. So this can save you a ton of time instead of going through and applying materials individually to objects. This allows you to swap them out everywhere where they occur inside of SketchUp. All right, so next up, we have plus spec. Plus spec is basically a tool for SketchUp that adds um, as close to BIM functionality as you can get inside of SketchUp. So basically what it has, it has a number of different smart tools inside of it that allow you to do things like adding different walls and doors and windows. But what it does is it makes them as kind of smart assemblies where you can toggle things like um, material types and other things like that. But then it also automates the plan creation process inside of SketchUp. So basically what it does is it get, lets you uh, it basically lets you click a button and it'll automatically generate the scenes that you can then send to layout in order to generate those plans. So from a pricing standpoint, it's definitely targeted more at professionals at $750 a year, but it does come with a lot of very powerful tools that you can use inside of SketchUp in order to do BIM modeling. Um, I believe it does have a free trial if you do want to check it out. All right, so next up, we have a free roof creation extension from TIG. And so TIG roof is basically a tool that allows you to quickly generate different kinds of roofs from your building shapes inside of SketchUp. So it gives you a number of different roofing types that you can select. So TIG roof allows you to generate roofs like hip roofs or mansard or gable ended or pyramid roofs. So if you do want a tool that's going to allow you to quickly create roofs inside of SketchUp, this free option could be a good option for you. All right, so next up, we've got the Fredo 6 bundle of extensions. And so there was a little bit of a change this year in the sense that these move from free extensions to paid extensions. And so this is basically a bundle of eight different extensions that do different things in SketchUp. So for example, Round Corner is a tool that rounds off corners in SketchUp. Joint Push Pull allows you to push pull curved surfaces and multiple surfaces. Curve Aloft gives you the ability to create skins 
over surfaces inside of SketchUp. Fredo Scale is a collection of scaling tools that allow you to do things like bending and twisting different things. Um, tools on surface allows you to draw on surfaces. So basically just a very, um, very complete collection of different tools. These are very popular. Um, you can download the entire bundle of these plugins from Sketchication for $40. That's a perpetual license. So from a value standpoint, you probably get about as much value out of this bundle as you could out of any bundle of SketchUp extensions, um, but Fredo 6's extensions are very popular and very powerful. All right, so Lattice Maker is a very powerful free extension from TIG that you can download from Sketchication. Basically what it does is it allows you to select a surface and then it'll automatically offset it and thicken it, giving you basically like a window frame as well as a glass material inside of those. So I use this to create all of my simple uh, commercial style windows. So things that are just like a pane or a couple different panes um, of glass along with like aluminum around the outside. So this is something I use a lot for window creation in SketchUp and it's free. So it's a great tool for that application. All right, so next up we have Medique BIM. So basically Medique BIM is three extensions that allow you to create things like detailed trusses um, as well as things like walls. So um, framing with window openings, other things like that. So you can use it to generate walls that either have framing or that are detailed with openings that don't have the framing. It's kind of your choice um, what you create with those, but then also the Medique Foundation extension, which allows you to create different kinds of foundations inside of SketchUp. So um, it allows you to create foundation walls and slabs with the reinforcing, other things like that. So very detailed um, creation tools in here. There's a lot of different options that you can use in order to generate a lot of different things. You can use these extensions either together or separately. So if you get them separately, I think you can get each one of them for $50 a year or a permanent license at $150, or you can get all three of them for $280. So again, a little bit more expensive on this one, but I think the thought is that you are going to be using this for more professional applications. All right, so next up, we have one of my favorite new extensions for SketchUp, Curic Face Knife. Curic Face Knife is a tool that basically allows you to select an object and then use a face in order to cut that object. So it's very useful for doing things like getting different tiles to fit in spaces, or if you have some kind of like trim running up in a regular face, you can use the profile of the face in order to cut that material so that it fits along that face. So it's something that saved me a ton of time already. Um, it's super valuable to me. Um, you can download it for free if you want to through Curic's Gumroad page. You can just name a fair price and put in zero dollars. Um, if you like this tool, I really do recommend that you put in at least something and kind of donate to help Curic out with this. I'm very glad that he put this out because it saved me a lot of work. All right, so Soap Skin and Bubble is an extension that has been around forever. It is a fantastic tool for creating surfaces using edges. So basically what it does is it allows you to select a series of edges and then generate a surface inside of them. It also has functions for kind of inflating those a little bit more. So you can use that in order to kind of like fill out a surface like this. Um, one of the things that I really use this for is I really use this for filling in gaps in like landscapes or um, terrain or something like that. Basically what it does is it allows you to select all of the edges around an area and then generate a skin inside of it. So um, I use this one a lot for that kind of thing, for patching holes, other things like that. It's a great tool for that and you can download it for free in the SketchUp extension warehouse. All right, so this next extension is actually another collection of different extensions that you can purchase. And um, it's a great tool for creating a lot of different architectural style features. So Instant Architecture from Valley Architects is a super value, is a very value packed series of extensions, giving you the ability to create different kinds of roofs, different kinds of roads, um, fences and railings, as well as walls. And then it's also got terrain tools. It's got doors and windows and stairs and cladding. So there's a number of different extensions and different functionalities in here. Um, these are probably some of the more detailed extensions that I've used that give you a lot more options. So I love using them. The door and window is fantastic. The stair is really good as well. So it's great, 
this is a great series of tools. So you can get these individually. Um, some people do that, but you can get this for $118 a year. That's less than $10 a month for access to all of these different tools. And like I said, there are a ton of them in here. So um, whether you need one of these individual tools or multiple or all of the tools inside of the suite, um, I find you get a lot of value out of Valley Architects extensions. All right, so next up is kind of two different extensions, but their functionality is similar enough that I'm putting them together as one item. But pipe along path from TIG basically allows you to select a path of objects. It does exactly what it sounds like, and then it'll generate a pipe along them. So usually if you want to generate a pipe, what you have to do is you have to draw your own circle and get it aligned and all that different stuff. Pipe along path will just allow you to select a path and generate a pipe along that path um, for you. So it's really good for quickly creating different pipes. Lines to tubes is another extension that basically allows you to select different lines. Um, so it doesn't matter if they're in a series or not like it does with the pipe along path, but this one allows you to basically generate tubes at any of the lines that you have selected. So this can be great for creating different lattices or if you're creating some kind of like glass system or something like that, you can use it in order to create the supports. But um, you, usually I recommend downloading both of these. They're both free and they're both great for creating different kinds of tubes and um, pipes. And those are both available for free at Sketchication. So the next tool is a tool from TomTom Tom that allows you to both simplify different edges and surfaces, but also do things like fill in different gaps. So Edge Tools is a free extension that you can download from the SketchUp extension warehouse. And basically what it's gonna allow you to do is it's going to allow you to simplify your edges. Um, one of the tools that I really like about this is this allows you to find and close different gaps inside of your models, as well as clean up extra geometry. So if you import like CAD files or something like that, this is an excellent tool for both simplifying as well as fixing those if they come in with gaps. Um, they have a tendency to do that when you bring in those CAD files. So this is a great tool for working with your edges and trying to make them work a little bit better in SketchUp, especially if there are errors. All right, so next up, we have a tool that's been in the extension warehouse since 2014, and it is still an excellent tool for dropping objects to surfaces inside of SketchUp. So if you have a number of different objects that need to go on a surface, trying to manually place them on a surface can be really time consuming. This allows you to select a series of objects and click on the drop button, and what it'll do is it'll search for objects down below and it'll drop your objects onto that surface. So this can be really helpful for placing trees on surfaces or other things like that. Um, but this is a free extension that's still going strong inside of SketchUp. You can get it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. All right, so one of the limiting factors inside of SketchUp is the ability to create moving animations. So within the base installation of SketchUp, you do have the ability to create camera animations, but you don't have the ability to animate actual movements of objects inside of your models. Animator is a tool set from Fredo 6 that allows you to animate actual movements of objects inside of SketchUp. So it allows you to do things like uh, animating rotations and translations and other things like that. There's a bunch of different things you can do with this, and then you can use it to export videos from SketchUp as well. So if you need a little bit more power in your animations, Animator is a great tool for doing that. Um, Animator is currently free on the Sketchication extension warehouse. All right, so next up, we have a tool for managing your object collections inside of SketchUp. Component Finder is a free extension from the guys over at Flex Tools, who we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. So basically, Component Finder allows you to set up different folders for all of your components then view them visually. It also allows you to search for different things inside of your component library and then quickly bring them into SketchUp. So the way that you currently manage components inside of SketchUp could be a little bit clunky. This gives you a much better tool for actually going through and managing and organizing your different components if you're creating your own library. So plus, Component Finder is available to download for free. So you can download this from the Flex Tools website. So if you're looking to create more complex curves inside of SketchUp, Fredo 6 has created an extension that allows you to do that called Fredo Spline. So Fredo Spline allows you to generate those different kinds of curves inside of your model. So like different like Bezier curves or fit spline curves, um, polylines, just a number of different curve types in here. You can use this in order to quickly generate those inside of SketchUp. So Fredo Spline is a paid extension. So it allows you to get a perpetual license for $25. You can download it from the Sketchication plugin store. 
So sometimes mimicking the randomness of the real world can be a little bit difficult without tools that allow you to do that. Scatter is an extension for SketchUp that allows you to scatter objects inside your model. So it's super valuable for creating things like vegetation or um, adding different crowds of people, creating carpets, anything where something repeats. This is a great tool for randomizing those things and placing them in your model. So a lot of the uses for this is um, creating things like uh, or scattering things like proxies that you can use for your rendering programs. So this is used a lot for creating different landscapes, but basically it's a tool set for randomly scattering objects inside your models. From what I've seen, it's the most powerful scattering extension for SketchUp, um, and you can do, use it to do a lot of different things. Um, this is especially useful if you're creating landscapes, like I said. So you can purchase a perpetual license um, for $127, or the annual license comes with future upgrades as well. So if you're looking for something to scatter things in SketchUp, this could be a great tool for that. So sometimes the simplest extensions can be the most helpful. So if you've ever gone through and done a big selection inside of SketchUp and then accidentally clicked in the wrong place and lost that entire selection, you know how frustrating that can be. Well, selection memory is a free tool from TomTom that you can download in the SketchUp extension warehouse and so this tool allows you to cycle through your last five selections inside of SketchUp. So if you do accidentally click off of something, you can just activate this tool in order to get that selection back. Um, this is a lifesaver if you do any kind of like complex selections and then you lose them, this can save you a lot of time. Plus, it's free. Tools is a tool that you can download um, for free from Sketchication, and it basically contains an architectural modeling tool set for SketchUp. So it contains tools for everything from filleting edges and extending edges, so um, kind of some architectural modeling type tools to creating different kinds of arrays and then also some different kinds of um, actual architectural models. So being able to create stairs and doors and windows, as well as things like uh, roofing, rafters, and joists. So note that this is an older tool. It hasn't actually been updated in a while, so it's not officially supported in SketchUp 2022, but best as I can tell, it still appears to be working, and it's got enough tools that it still makes the list. I don't know if this is still being supported, so there's a pro version on the author's website that I'm not 100% sure if you should really be interested interested in or not. At this point, I wouldn't recommend it just because I'm not sure if this is being actively updated. But the free version in the Sketchication plugin store is still working. So Placemaker is an extension for SketchUp specifically designed to help you generate places. Um, a lot of the time you're going to use it for things like cities, um, as well as downloading like high resolution aerial images. So the base functionality is going to give you access to things like uh, generating 3D buildings and roads and paths based on map data. So in addition to being able to generate cities, Placemaker can also bring in high resolution um, aerial images. Um, that is an additional cost if you do decide to do that, but it can make a huge difference if you're doing any kind of site modeling, as well as giving you access to some higher quality terrain, other things like that. So overall, if you want to generate something like this city right here, it's very easy to do um, with Placemaker. So I found it to be very helpful for generating these site images and the site context and other things like that. All right, so Profile Builder is a tool that allows you to generate smart objects inside of SketchUp. So basically what it does is it allows you to generate smart profiles and assemblies. So you can either pre-draw profiles, so things like gutters and pipes and other things like that. And then this uh, gives you a ton of different tools for using those profiles, or you can also combine those together um, in order to create things like fences and railings and other things like that. This kind of automates the process of creating those more complex conditions. It's a very powerful tool for creating things like that. You can also use it for generating um, things like framed walls and other things like that as well. So Profile Builder is downloaded specifically from the Profile Builder website from Mindsight Studios. Note that you can either get a permanent license for Profile Builder at $79. So you can also download the combination of Profile Builder with Quantifier Pro, which is their estimating quantification extension um, for $119. So you can either get Profile Builder by itself for $79 or both for $119. I will link to both of those in my extension resource. So Extrude Tools is a free extension from TIG that basically gives you a collection of tools designed specifically for extruding edges into meshes. So basically what it does is it allows you to use different edges in order to generate different shapes. So this can be really good for creating complex models. Um, I would say 
Extrude tools is more for edges. Things like Curveloft from Fredo are more for faces. So combining those two together can be really powerful. Um, but this one is definitely going to be powerful for generating things from edges inside of SketchUp. Uh, you can download this extension for free in the Sketchication plugin store. So JHS Power Bar is a free extension for SketchUp that gives you a combination of different tools from different extensions authors in order to allow you to do a bunch of different things. So this is a massive tool set that combines everything from tools for like splitting up surfaces and faces, as well as things like extruding objects along paths. Um, it's actually got pipe along path and lines to tubes in here. It's also got a drop tool in here. It's also got tools in here like Compo Swapper, which allows you to swap out different components. Um, it's got tools in here for creating control points, which can be really powerful because then there's also a tool in here for placing objects on those control points. So you can replace, you can set points in a 3D space and then you can replace them with, um, with different objects in here. So there's a bunch of different tools contained inside here for a bunch of different applications. And you can download this one for free from Sketchucation. So so finally, we have a tool that allows you to quickly add doors, windows, stairs, and other architectural elements inside of SketchUp. Flex Tools is a tool built on top of dynamic components inside of SketchUp. What it does is it allows you to really quickly create and place objects like windows and doors that are supposed to cut openings in your walls, but it also gives you the ability to adjust things about them. So for example, you can adjust like the number of divisions you have. You can adjust the number of divisions you have inside of a window. You can adjust the heights and the widths and other things like that, and that'll all adjust dynamically. So this is something that I use a lot for quickly adding doors and windows to my models instead of having to man manually model them out myself. So you can download and use Flex Tools for less than $10 a month if you are looking for those quick, easy to use dynamic components inside of SketchUp. All right, so I will link to this list in the notes down below, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Is there anything I left off? Are you using any of these extensions? I just love having that conversation with you guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.